There are many ways to create virtual services. One of the most powerful ways is to create virtual services from recorded traffic. This allows us to simply listen to a transaction between an application and a back-end dependency and let Virtualize do all the heavy lifting to create a virtual service that will solve our needs. There's a little bit of setup work that has to be done in order to prepare us for recording the traffic. So let's take a little look at a typical application and where that setup work would take place. So when you have your application under test, the application makes connection to the backend systems, be they databases, third-party applications, additional internal services, and it will make those connections over a series of protocols. Today, we're gonna to be dealing with HTTP. Now, in order to capture the primary communication that's taking place between these applications and the backend systems, we will start by defining proxies. It simply allows you to intercept calls that are coming from the application to the backend systems by generating a listener. The proxy then forwards the calls to the target systems and listens for the responses to come back. Once we have those proxies in place, we can then exercise communication against the application, getting all of the good requests and responses to and from the application and really getting a good chunk of information about how these applications and the dependencies are interacting with each other. We can then take all of that information and deliver it to Parasoft Virtualize, then generate a virtual service for us that will behave just like the recording. We can then use those proxies for their secondary purpose, which is to redirect communication from the backend system and to point that towards Virtualize where Virtualize will then respond with the information that it just recorded. So let's go ahead and step through the initial creation of a proxy. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Parabank application that we set up to record some traffic. Proxies live within the Parasoft Virtualize server view, which is over here on the right. And you can add a proxy by simply right-clicking on the message proxies and selecting Add Message Proxy. Let's go ahead and take a look at this proxy. So I'll double click on it and it will bring it into the main editor. By default, proxies do not have connection information, so we'll need to supply that. So let's look at what a proxy connection looks like. I'm gonna click on the add button. So a proxy is made up of three pieces. Where is the proxy listening? Where is the proxy sending? And if you've configured a secondary connection, where is that secondary connection sending? So in our example, we are going to be using the Parabank demo application as the application under test. And we're gonna define our proxy to point at a third party service. So we're gonna to need to know what the endpoint of that third party service is, and then we can simply feed it to the proxy. In your Parabank demo application, we can go into the services section and that will allow us to get the endpoint information for any services that Parabank talks to. So in a subsequent video, we're gonna take this service information, we're gonna feed it to the proxy, and we'll record some traffic for use in creating a virtual service.